Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So today we're doing another video in bonding and molecular structure. So let's get moving on that one. Bam! So today we're talking about methane's molecular geometry and oh, so much more. So the first thing what we're going to do is we need to get the formula for methane and then from there we're going to draw the Lewis structure of methane. So here is the formula for methane and that is CH4. From this, we're gonna look on our periodic table, determine the number of valence electrons for carbon and for hydrogen, multiply by the number of atoms in which we see for them individually, sum those numbers up, and then we're gonna get the total number of electrons. So let's do that right here. So there are four valence electrons for carbon. There's only one carbon. There are There is one valence electron for hydrogen, and yet there are four of those. So we're going to sum these numbers up, and that gives us eight. Then from that eight, that is the total number of electrons. But what we're going to do is we're going to divide this always by two. So that way we get pairs of electrons. So that is four pairs of electrons on CH4. Now, what we need to do is determine the least electronegative element of the two, in this case, because there's only two, and then the least electronegative goes in the middle. But wait, wait, wait. It's the least electronegative, but never hydrogen. So therefore, by default, it's just the carbon, and the carbon is the least electronegative. That goes right there in the middle. Notice that I draw the X marks the spot, X marks the spot with a plus sign. That indicates the center where I'm going to put that central element. And then the other elements go on the... Um, apexes of that X marks the spot. And so that's why I have those hydrogens right there just like that. Hopefully that works for you. Now I'm going to place these pairs of electrons. I'm going to follow the order of the drawing of Lewis dot structure. So you need to review that video before you carry on here. But the first set of rules is to place a pair of electrons between the central element and the outside elements. And that's what I did just there. Those are each a single or a sigma bond. Okay, I'm going to verify the octet rule for carbon, and that's a go. Carbon is one of period two, one of four elements in period two that must have an octet. I'm going to verify the duet rule. The duet rule only applies to hydrogen, and that is also verified right there. Okay, this is my Lewis dot structure, and this is a better Lewis dot structure. Not that the other one works really well with the dots, but generally when you have bonding pairs of electrons, you're going to use those bonding pairs of electrons and draw a single line instead. Therefore, the C in the middle and the hydrogens on the outside, just like what you see there, that's a perfect Lewis dot structure. Bam. Okay, now we're going to do our axe. That is the central element, the surrounding elements, and the lone pair of electrons on the central element. Okay, so we're going to count these up. The central element is the A, so the carbon is the A. And then the outside elements are X's. How many um, hydrogens on the outside do you see? Four of them, so there are four X's. Are there any lone pairs on the central element? That's a no. So therefore, you should get this AX4 structure. From the AX4 structure, you need to know the name of the shape. Or you could know that it's four bonding and zero non-bonding, and then you can know the shape. And that shape is from the four bonding or zero non-bonding or the AX4, you need to know the name of that shape, and that is tetrahedral. So this is tetrahedral in shape. Okay, It has bond angles of 109.5. Okay, Now, from this, we're going to get our uh, hybridization. So we're going to count S, P1, P2, P3, and that's SP3 hybridized. Okay, I'm going to show you this molecule here in just a second, but we need to figure out the polarity. And we already did this in the polarity video, but we're going to do it right here too. Is CH4, does CH4 have polar bonds? The answer is yes. The carbon is more electronegative to, than the hydrogen. So it does have polar bonds. Number two criteria, is it asymmetrical or is it symmetrical? CH4, um, all the hydrogens on the outside there are the same. The elements on the outside, the X's are the same. Therefore, it's symmetrical and it's nonpolar and it's a symmetrical molecule, nonpolar. So here is methane for you. This is a beautiful structure, okay? Hopefully you got that. That's why this is tetrahedral, okay? Remember, now you drew that Lewis dot structure and it looks flat, but you need to think three-dimensionally. This is tetrahedral, okay? Tetrahedral, all right. Hopefully that worked out really well for you. That is everything you need to know about methane right there on one slide. Beautiful. I am the crazy hat chemist. Here is a crazy hat. This is coming from my daughter. And there are paws, baby. If you like that video, give me a paw up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please pass on the word. Be positive about it.
Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye now.